Ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and droids across the galaxy, get hyped because we are going to be talking about the most important thing in Galaxy of Heroes, the most important continent. Everybody is struggling. Gary, pull it down on the screen. Everyone, get your air horns ready. Get your round of applause going because we're going to be talking about the top 10 tips for Galactic War. Please clap. Please. There we go. We're talking about Galactic War today. It's going to be kind of serious. Thank you guys so much. Your kindness is going unnoticed in the end. A lot of you guys might be scratching your heads right now. But as you guys know, we are starting a brand new free-to-play account for 2021. And I just hit level 40 today. And I know for a grand majority, I'm talking probably 95% plus of the audience space, Galactic War is the most outdated thing in Galaxies. But... For new players coming to Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, once you hit level 40, Galactic War is so incredibly important. I do get a lot of questions. How do I do the best I possibly can inside of Galactic War? And as I said, I just unlocked it today, and it looks like we're going to get a full clear. So I'm going to be sharing 10 tips for maximizing your potential inside of Galactic War because you get lots of sim tickets, you get lots of character charts, you get lots of crystals, and more importantly, if you can full clear every single day, complete all the battles, you'll get 1,200 Galactic War currency. And what that means, with the new shard change that happened not too long ago, you can farm a character straight to seven stars in 11 days. That is huge. I want to make sure for new players coming, you get the most possible out of this. And if you're someone like me who's been playing the game for five years and you forgot there is a Galactic War, well, you can have fun watching me use my characters in Galactic War today. So let's go ahead and start getting our tips on the screen right here. We have a lot to talk about. Let's start off with the bare basics first. When you get the Galactic War, don't just throw some hodgepodge teams together. Form a good team and gear them well. And I'll explain what I mean right now. When I mean by form a good team, put a team together. That's going to firstly, as we've been talking about, card in the top right-hand corner. When we jump started the series for 2021, you want to farm factions. And especially factions that lead you to legendaries. And a lot of these factions are going to be very helpful in things like Galactic War. And the faction I've been recommending for 2021's upcoming farming guide is going to be the phoenix squadron and when you're building a team there's a couple things to keep in mind firstly gear them up as high as possible i don't care if you're going for separatists i don't care if you're doing jedi first i don't care if you're doing first order or phoenix which is going to be the best team to knock out galactic war especially and of course leading us to various legendaries out there build a team that has a couple of core components i'm talking good damage dealer attackers like ezra bridger good uh support characters that help you control the field harrison doula for example and kanan jarris also has control over the field by applying offense down Bringing characters that dispel buffs and most importantly dispel taunts. And luckily, Chopper and Ezra, they both have buff dispels. Those are kind of the core things and most importantly for Galactic War, which is a marathon based event. You want healer characters or characters with high durability. And the beautiful thing about the Phoenix Squadron, they are an extremely durable team. There's healing, there's protection to make sure you can last throughout the waves and furthermore be focused on effects we talked about our top 10 beginner tips the other day but focus on a faction don't be spreading your resource too thin your gear as well as your energy farming multiple characters from different factions stay focused on one team because you want to get them as highly geared as possible i've been solely focusing on the phoenix squadron free to play and within four days or so i already got my phoenix squadron to gear level five and we're just waiting on zeb we're using jedi council because why it's a healer based character and the hope is we should be able to unlock zeb later on today if we can get a full clear in this galactic war so that's going to be the first big tip out there bring a right team then make sure you gear them up very well as high as you possibly can moving on to our next batch of tips that we have here gary can you put it on the screen we're going to be talking about the strategy actually going in the battle. And as we see, tip number two, take out the biggest threats first. We'll kind of give you some rough ideas what to look for. Make sure you're using your abilities at the right time. Don't just use abilities just because. Make sure you read the abilities, understand them, and time them out perfectly so you're maximizing the efficiency of your team. And most importantly, as you start ramping down in the battle, you're getting close to the end, start saving your special abilities because they carry over the cooldowns into the next battle as we'll show here so let's go hop over here i bet the veteran players are like wow this guy's got a lot of useless information about an outdated game mode this game mode does get extremely outdated once you get the sim tickets when you get 50 full clears and hit level 85 you're never going to look back at this game mode again i'm hoping for a rework on this table for so, so for end game players this is going to be a relevant game mode. But let's hop in the battle i have two more battles here and let's start talking about those tips that i just broke down for you so as i said you want to take out the biggest threats first and usually what i mean by that 
go for the biggest attackers go for the characters that have the the most control over the field like for example farm boy luke clone sergeant kylo ren dart says they're heavy hitting attackers at the early end of the game but you gotta also watch out for things like count dooku who's got stuns and shocks and grand moff tarkin who's got turbo removal and massive amounts of debuffs that he can apply so we're gonna go for most likely grand moff tarkin and then farm boy luke afterwards because those are the big threats chewie's not gonna be much of a threat he doesn't hit hard and then these two healers they don't hit hard as well so we're gonna kind of make sure we prioritize prioritize our attacks on these guys right here so let's open up with a taunt with chopper luckily this team's got two taunting characters which is fantastic and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna throw that protection up over on our jedi counselor this really comes to that earlier point you need to really master the team read the abilities and that's why i recommend the phoenix squadron because it is a fantastic first team to kind of get familiar with synergies turn order and strategies in general so so far we're doing great work we're going to want to call him our ezra bridger he's our biggest damage and character on this team and we should be able to get rid of him in a moment so like here's an example you want to use your abilities at the right time there is no reason to use this ability because it's your buff this spell capability save this to run there's a character with a lot of buffs or a taunt so right now we just want to use our basics let's go ahead throw that out and hopefully in a moment we can try to get uh grand moth target over so here we go again making sure you use your abilities at the right time it would have been foolish if i used this earlier because now i can get around this taunt on chewbacca now we're going to keep making progress over on grand moth target let's get a taunt up uh, right here we're going to pass this over to jedi counselor for right now it doesn't really matter use our basic we don't want to use our special ability just yet again no reason to use this so let's use basic and there we go so moving on to the next threat luckily we got that offense down from kanan to reduce the amount of damage coming from farm boy luke we're going to start making our way over to farmy boy and let's see, just use our basic right here uh, no offense down but luckily it's gonna be fine i think that should take care of him not quite and boom all right so now we took out the big threats we can do what i like to call ramping down and what i mean by that is don't be using your specials because we want to make sure all of our special abilities are off cooldown as we progress into the next battle so pretty much i'm just gonna use my basics for the rest of this battle right here no need to use our specials unless i maybe want to heal up our jedi counselor see i could have used my special but i didn't these guys are not a threat on this other side of the field so there's really no need to freak out much we're just gonna use our basic let's see uh choppers doing its thing just keep using basics uh actually what i'm gonna do here it looks like we can use a little bit of a heal from jedi counselor because we want to make sure going into the next battle we're as healthy as possible there we go using our basic right there going for jedi counselor next and we're gonna save poor clone wars chewy as the final character to put down here he's not really much of a threat here unless he's with padme amadala he could do some interesting stuff with padme as we showed uh not too long ago in 2020 and now as you're gonna see all of our special abilities should be off cooldown and i actually want to talk about a few things in the next steps and this tip list let's go ahead and put on the screen gear bear as you complete battles a couple of things happens behind the scenes let's go ahead and show you what we got here as you complete battles between battles as you complete it your characters are going to heal up a little bit and furthermore your turn meter carries over to the next battle let me show you what i mean over here. very important stuff to keep in mind because that's why we again we want to ramp down because we should have a pretty significant advantage going into this next battle here so we're going to heal up a little bit into the next round and turn meter if you guys don't know what turn meter is it is probably the most important mechanic in galaxies it's that blue bar right there it determines the order in which characters go and the good thing is this turn meter is going to carry over to the next battle normally in other other battles out there like squad arena there is no preloaded turn meter per se unless certain characters boost it and it just goes based off the speeds of the characters well now with preloaded turn meter into the next battle all of our characters should have a major first advantage to use as many abilities before the opponents start doing their thing and again let's just go ahead use our basic right here and boom looking good so far heading into the last wave and i kind of want to talk about some other tips what if the battle just does not go your way well i got a couple tips to share with you guys today because here's the thing when you're doing galactic war there's a couple things to look for the most difficult battles are going to be your sixth battle your uh your uh, your uh 11th battle as well as your 12th battle right here these three are going to be your most difficult battles in the entirety of galactic war and the rest in between are fairly easy to beat so the point being is when you hit that battle hit this one and hit this one over here you might run into some complications and i got some beautiful tips to share with you guys i think even some veteran players maybe i've forgotten about showed on the screen so firstly 
you can back out of battle. If things are not going your way, simply back out and it's just gonna restart your progress. You're not gonna lose health in your characters. It basically brings you back the same way you were when you entered battle. Important tip because you wanna try to maximize these battles and try to rethink your strategy possibly. And speaking of strategy, tip number eight, change the script of the battle. Now this one's gonna blow your mind. This was such an important tip. Back when Galactic War was important. Let me show you what I mean. When I go into battle, the game already creates a script that's going to happen every single time. And if you don't like the outcome of a particular event, restart the battle, hop back in and do something different. Change the team composition, put in a different character or use your abilities differently. I'm going to try to explain what I mean. It's a little weird. I'm going to make sure I try to make it as clear as possible. So what we're going to do, we're not going to try to win this battle this very second, but I'm just going to use basics right here. Let's put it on 2x so we can notice the damage. If I keep using the same abilities, every single time I restart the battle, the same things are going to happen over and over again. So you got to change the script by using a different ability uh, or changing the team composition. So let's do this. We're just going to do our basics right here just to make a point. So notice that 520. If I restart the battle 490 and we're going to do that 253, we get the same exact damage all over again. And the enemies are going to attack the same people all over again. So here we go. Watch. They went for Jedi Counselor. Going for Jedi Counselor. Let's just go ahead and keep using our basics. And the damage is going to be the same exactly. They all went for Jedi Counselor. And that was 1,058 damage. I'm going to do the same thing again. And the same damage. The same outcome of events are going to happen exactly the same way. If you ever notice, if you ever notice someone dodge, you redo the battle and do the same exact turn order, they'll keep dodging at the same exact point. It's basically... You pull, the, you pull the slot machine, it's like, all right, this is guaranteed to happen every single time. So if you don't like, look at that, 984. Let's wait for that. I'm a gun die. Exactly the same thing just happened. Exactly 1,058. They went for Jedi Counselor, and it was a critical hit. It's the same thing over and over again. But if I re-enter battle and do a different turn order or do a different ability, or let's say I pull out Jedi Counselor and put a different character in, we completely rewrite the script to try to get a different outcome. So the point being is you might run into a very difficult team just keep mixing up your team composition, change up your turn order, change up the abilities used, and you can re-kind of determine the future that is going to happen. So, all right, we need to assess the situation. So the biggest threats on the field are Ahsoka, Clone Sergeant, as well as Fives. I really want to get uh, Clone Sergeant out of here because especially the Five synergy going on here, it's not going to look good. So this time we're going to play for real. I'm going to pop up a taunt, and as you know, things are going to be different. I'm a gun die is not going to get that 1,058 crit over on our uh, the Jedi Council. Let's do our special right here, heal up a little bit. And I'm gonna throw some protection up on Shop right here. Again, we gotta survive for what's to come. No need to use this just yet. Let's just wait till there's a buff to the spell because we also have some big damage. No, notice that, look, Fives didn't go for a Jedi Council that time. The situation has changed. I'm gonna call in Harrison Dula and hopefully we can get a good hit. Not quite, we don't need, I don't think we need backup plan on Jedi Counselor. But notice, see, it wasn't 1,058 damage that time so you have to rewrite the script next up i'm going for a sokotano i'm gonna dispel that buff right there we should hopefully pull back some terminator let's cleanse up that speed down you really got to take some time read the kits of your team so you can truly understand what is going on here all right we have no major taunts in the way so we're just gonna go ahead use that big ability right there that's our big damage attack ezra is basically carrying this and everyone else on the team is kind of supporting him we're gonna give backup plan uh we really don't need to no one's really on the brink of death so far let's go for our jedi counselor we don't really have to worry too much about fives because he's gonna be a little bit annoying towards the end here so let's not deal with him just yet all right chopper get your taunt up buddy let's show the power of galactic war i really wish galactic war is a lot more relevant of a game of for end game players because it is fun when there's a challenge associated with it. so now i'm gonna give this over to chopper again using your abilities at the right time we're gonna give some protection up then make sure he survives as long as possible and we'll go for i'm a gun die and then we're gonna probably full auto fives towards the end and i think ladies and gentlemen we just unlocked galactic war today and it looks like we're gonna get our first full clear of galactic war which is huge because we want to maximize the resources that we get out of galactic war and i do have a few more tips to talk about as we close up this video, it's gonna be a little bit annoying. Five's got tons of counterattacks. So we are gonna probably sit here for a little bit and handle it. So as we back this out, let's talk about what do you do with the loot that you are getting. And this kind of goes into the farming process of going about Galaxy of Heroes. As we said, there's major shard changes that happened not too long ago. I mean, heck, in a matter of four or five days, I've already got the core Phoenix faction, the three and four stars. I'm on my way to get five star Phoenix probably in the next week. Here's, here we go. We got all of our rewards. Boom, look at that. We got 1,200 currency of Galactic War currency, and that means I'm gonna be able to get 30 shards of Zeb every single day. 
And that is going to complete my Phoenix crew. Let me show you the last few tips that I have for you guys right here. Gary, bring them on over before we wrap up this video right here. Here we go. The main goal is there might be some days you're busy. There might be some days you're running into some difficulties that at the end of the day, you want to try to complete at least six battles on the Galactic War table. And with the currency you're getting for Galactic War, I highly recommend, again, this is basic uh, farming guide tips 101 that I talked about the other day. Farm one character at a time. Don't be farming some Zeb. Don't be farming some Kad Bane at the same time. Don't be farming Pogodiles at the same time. They're all useful characters for a project of some sort. But if you're farming a little bit of everything, it's going to take you forever to accomplish your goal. So stay focused. Use all your Galactic War currency you're earning on one character so you can supercharge the farming process. Get our Phoenix together so we can unlock Palpatine and Thrawn as fast as possible. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be your top 10 Galactic War tips. I know, again, probably some of the veteran players have been watching play for years and are probably laughing right now. It is a tough game mode for new players coming to Galaxy Series and it is one of the most important game modes and i do hope it gets reworked for end game players to enjoy uh enjoy in the future but as of now thank you guys so much for watching like if you enjoyed the video comment down below on all your thoughts if you have other tips to share with other players feel free to send it their way and the most important thing as we always say around here oh boy it's great to be in the empire today <laughs>